Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the HTML and web page design portion here in the, you know, final weeks of the CIS 102 course. Howdy there. I am your instructor for the course, Eric Wolf. I teach, as it turns out, web design here at Rock Valley College. And what we'll do with this section is admittedly a little different than we've done with the other sections of the course. Until now, we have been focusing on, you know, the the office skills stuff, right? So we've been in my IT lab, we've been working on things like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And this, the web design portion, is not a big departure from it. One of the biggest skills that we see pretty consistently across every industry. So whether or not you want to go into, you know, nursing, if you are here for engineering, if you want to go into a business um, a field of some sort, one of the things that we see pretty consistently in the top five most desired skills for those industries is web design. And the I think the pandemic really helped drive this home. It was an annoyance before if a company didn't have a website. It was an annoyance before if a company had a really poor website, if a company just had a Facebook page, something like that. But through the pandemic, if a company didn't have a web page, Really, we can ask the question, did they exist at all? No, not really. So more now than ever, we have seen that web design is uh, it's a, it's a pillar, it's central, it's important to all of our different kinds of, you know, different working ecosystems. So the more skills it is that you have, even at here a general level the more skills that you have in web design those are skills that you can market as you market yourself to your next potential employer so we have two uh, portions to this experience that we've put together for you the first of them will be video portions like this we have them you know, broken down into little bite-sized videos um, where you can follow along um, and see the code. You can use the code. You can see it as it's being developed and then develop it yourself. Um, and there is also, because not everybody learns just by watching a video, I actually think it's not the best way that I personally learned this. Um, we do have you know, text versions of these as well. So there are PDF documents that associate usually right down here with the videos so that you can follow along on paper with the video, with the audio from these. And hopefully that is a wraparound experience that really will help you, you know, drive home the, the basic HTML skills that we are going to see here in this upcoming chapter. So here we go web design via HTML and CSS.